read by Barry and claimed by Barry. Well, that was fascinating to watch the way the two teams tried to outwit each other on the kickoff. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And you know, Reap went long then, and the Kerry midfielder coming into it. And here's another opportunity for Kerry now. They're coming into this game, Mike. Graham Sullivan to Paul Ganey. Looked like it may be a backdoor caught. Here's Clifford coming through the front door and firing it. Well, the umpire says he fires it wide. Yeah, he was going for goal, Mike, and he put power behind it. Uh, great win by Jack Barry. He's coming into this game in the second half. Paul Ganey's coming into this game. We see Clifford getting it. Went for power and went wide, unfortunately. But as I said, Mike, Kerry are stepping up a gear or two and, and they're giving the Kerry supporters something to cheer about. Well, that umpire was to the pin of his collar trying to watch the flight of that ball. Most people had it chalked down as a score, but somehow David Clifford blazes wide from point blank range still a four point game but it's starting to feel a lot more like a championship match in this third quarter Mayo able to come out with this kick out Colin Marie uh, gives a sharp kick out and they're able to come out easily enough with the ball we see the likes of Graham O'Sullivan and, and uh, Rory Murphy retreating so Mayo setting up their attack here now again Paddy Durkin just on and mad for road looking for the run of James Carr he's beaten Tom O'Sullivan in the foot race Matty Ruan makes the angle run Ruan cuts through Ryan again comes up with the answer to the question asked by Matty Ruan this time well it's one save after another from Shane Ryan that's his fourth save Mike um, and you know Mayo have got into great positions scoring positions and with Shane Ryan in the form that he's in you just wonder would Mayo be better off kicking some of those fisting those over the bar keep the scoreboard ticking now Kerry on the counter attack Paddy Clifford starts the move David Clifford looking to finish it and this time the umpire is in no doubt the Kerry crowd on their feet again it's the Fossa phenomenon David Clifford that leaves us with a three point game not alone does he kick that point, but watch the way the Mayo defenders are coming in close on him and he kicks, kicks that ball high. There's the opportunity of the goal and that's a four-point turnaround when you consider Mayo should have had a goal the other end of the field. Well, a lot of people wondering in advance just how much this game meant to Mayo and Kerry, how hard they might go for it given that they're out again in round two in a couple of weeks' time. Loud coming to Castle Bar, Kerry going to Cork. Well, they've both gone hard at it since this game started. And Mayo are in around the back. It's O'Connor, it's McHugh, and it looked like he'd run out of options, but Dunica McHugh manages to scoop it up and over the bar. Good score. It's the runners, it's the runners, Mike. The runners that are causing Kerry the trouble all day long. And uh, they're setting up score upon score, and Kerry just can't stop the runners. It was Matty Ruan who was in previous to that. Great save by Shane Ryan. There we see Dunica McHugh kicking the ball over the bar, or fisting the ball over the bar. Uh, but it's Kerry coming again with Tom O'Sullivan. It's only his second point in championship football. He becomes the seventh different Mayo scorer. Again, the Kerry full forward line. Working well. Clifford to Ganey. Textbook finish from Paul Ganey. I don't know what Jack O'Connor said to Paul Ganey at half time, but it seems to have the desired effect. He's really come out in the second half. That's his second point in the second half and his third point overall. And again, put a bit of loft in it, put a bit of height in it to make sure that there was no block down. Great score by Ganey. They need to get more ball into him, more ball into Clifford. It's only a three point game now. Well, he's been on the road now for 10 years, Paul Ganey. And he is really reveling out there in the second half. As Mark said, Mayo are making a change. James Carr is being taken out. And they've brought yeah. in uh, Tommy Conroy from the Neil. Yeah, and talking about players that will run at you. I, I've played in defence myself. And, and the big thing is, when a player gets a, a build-up of momentum, one player you don't want running at you is Tommy Conroy. So from a Kerry point of view, Mike, they're going to have to be seriously disciplined at the back and not give away cheap freeze. So less than 20 minutes to go here at Fitzgerald Stadium. 
Gavin White, it looks, is, uh, is picking him up and Gavin will have the pace from him, even though great fist by Gavin White. The two flyers match up, White and Conroy. Break works out for Mayo, Aidan O'Shea. To Durkin, he was at full stretch to hang on to that and he somehow has managed to engineer a free for himself. Graham Sullivan, I think, acknowledges he may have been a, a tad overzealous, but... And that's what I'm talking about, Mike, just with... Yeah, that's that's way too high from Graham O'Sullivan. And I just said it, from a Kerry point of view, they're going to have to be disciplined. It's a three-point game now. This is going to change to four points. Mayo are a team that like to run the ball. Kerry are going to have to be seriously disciplined. Wait for Mayo to hop for solo and get a hand in. Over the bar by Rhino Donahue. That's his uh, fifth I make it, Mike. Five points. Three from play. And Ryan O'Donoghue leading the line for Mayo in the absence of Killian O'Connor. And right now Mayo's full forward line is Aidan O'Shea flanked by O'Donoghue and Conroy. Here is O'Shea. Made the run to track uh, Graham Sullivan. Fouls him. Talking about players that are, are, are running, good players running with the ball is, is, is one of Kerry's players on the bench is Brino Begley. He's the first sub to come in and it's, it's, he hasn't been in, so it'll be interesting to see if Kerry bring him in. David Clifford looking to see more of the ball now in this second half. Forced to take the scenic route. He's going to shoot, there was nothing else on. What a score from David Clifford. Yeah. Footballer of the year, an artist at work. And again, he gets one of the biggest roars of the day. And again, from a Mayo point of view, they, they did very little wrong there. You know, they shepherded him out towards the middle. It looked as though he was going to pass the ball. And then all of a sudden, he decides to shoot. And a great score from David Clifford. His third from play, his sixth overall. Another change by Mayo. It's Owen McLaughlin for Porico Hora. Another more or less uh, straight swap. David Clifford with six points, three from play, three frees, but his engine now very much up and running. Yeah, and Kerry have been getting more ball into Clifford, more ball into Ganey in the second half. Uh, it's a three-point game, but you would have to say a much improved performance by Kerry in the second half. And again, the emphasis should be on getting the ball into the inside line that bit quicker. Tom Sullivan is playing most of his play over by the stand side in the left-hand side. So he, he is an option to get quick ball to him and then in, into the inside boys. The Kerry have won three of the last uh, five championship matches between the counties. But right now, it's Mayo who are still setting the pace. 14 minutes of normal time to go. Jack O'Connor, he's never lost a championship game to Mayo as Kerry manager. Is today to be that day, or what will the All-Ireland champions come up with in this last quarter? Right now, they're watching Mayo again, hold possession. Jeremy O'Connor. Paddy Durkin. Leaves that behind Jordan Flynn, but it was anticipated by Ruan. Kerry have uh, outscored Mayo six points to four, by the way, since half time. Yeah. Looking now to push on. 15 minutes to go in the game, and it's just the period where you'd want to see a score or two from either team to get themselves really firing. Ball doesn't stick in the Mayo attack, and Kerry break at pace. Rory Murphy to Shawnee O'Shea. Here's Murphy again, looking to make an impression. And Rory Murphy misses, but not by a whole lot. The uh, umpire again just needed, uh, I think, confirmation from his colleague there. Yeah, no Hawkeye in Fitzgerald Stadium, Killarney, but uh, Rory, he's a player I trained last year with Listroy. Fantastic young talent. Uh, he's really stepped up and, uh, you know, would have been great for his confidence to get that ball over the bar. Uh, has played in the two championship games so far. His, his dad, Pat, and his uncle, Jar would have won All-Ireland Club medals with Lawn Rangers in 1995 and would have had Kerry experience as well. So he's following in their footsteps. 
stoppage here as uh, Jack Coyne is uh, treated. Starting a championship game today for just the second time, the Ballyhonas defender. And there's Jack O'Connor. He has had his work cut out for him today. That's what you want in championship games. You want the, the team to that, that you're playing against to really put it up to you. Mike Morley's going off now. And uh, Bruno Begley, Bruno Begley is yeah. coming in. But there's activity as well on the Mayo sideline. Looks like Stephen Cohn is about to enter the fray. Long kick out from Reap. O'Shea is the target. Drifts out the field just to give his goalkeeper an option. Manages to win a free. That leaves Ryan O'Donoghue as the lone ranger in the Mayo full forward line at the moment. Great win by O'Shea and it's it's a no-brainer really when you think that Cullum Reap is taking a kick out and one of the options should be a go-to kick out and what better one than Aidan O'Shea out around the middle of the field uh, to come out for one. So uh, he's been very effective today. Jason Foley has got to grips with him that bit in the second half in the last 15 minutes but he's still been very effective. And Stephen Cohen just receiving some last second instructions there from Mayo's assistant manager Stephen Rochford it's a 100th league and championship appearance for Cohn and it's Jack Coyne who's been taken out that's Mayo's fifth substitution by the way they've all come in the last uh, 10 or 15 minutes Conroy to Carney here's O'Donoghue looking to wrong foot the defender spots the run of McLaughlin Owen McLaughlin with his first goal in the championship to blow this game wide open what a goal. You know, I said it before, the runners is something that was going to cut, cat, uh, catch Kerry. Great goal by McLaughlin. Here we see him coming through. Graham O'Sullivan trying to catch him. Great offload by Ryan O'Donoghue. And now Mayo have all the momentum. Well, it was going to take something special to beat Shane Ryan, the sort of form he's in. McLaughlin went low and hard. A daisy cutter on the beautiful manicured surface here at Fitzgerald Stadium and it flew in Ryan Beaton for the first time in championship 2023 yeah and if you look at all the previous efforts that Mayo had for goal they were kind of straight at Shane Ryan in that they were middle of the goal this one was down low like you said Mike a daisy cutter six points now by Mayo ahead like it's going to be very hard to see Kerry come back from this and dare I say it that record that we've had since 1995 is that going to be gone Right now, that record is hanging by a thread. 39 games unbeaten here in Killarney in the championship. But right now, the Munster and All-Ireland champions, they're in a very tight corner. Five down at half-time. They've now fallen six behind with nine to play. And you'd have to say, tactically, and from the point of view of producing a performance mark, Kevin McStay and his management team, they've got it spot on. They have, yeah. They've been, you know, beaten by Ross Common. They had to dust themselves down. They've had to come back. Uh, the six-week uh, gap has possibly helped them. Um, but look, they've come out today, Mike. They've been the better team here. There's no doubt about that. They've had the upper hand in their forward line against Kerry for most of the day. And uh, they're fair game for a win here now. Ten minutes to go. Well, they're attacking in waves, quick hands. It's Connor Loftus looking to finish that flowing move. Instead, he drills Mayo's sixth wide, their fourth in the second half. From a Kerry point of view, they really need to get the ball up the field quickly and into David Clifford.